So coming to line then for the third leg of the 350s. Tom Perry towards the middle of the grid. Up for the tanks, away they go, and Tom Perry's got away again. Looks like Mark Taylor's got away, and, and young Ryan Ashcroft's got away as well. So where's Mark Joe? I think he's in fourth place at the moment, going in to that top corner. He's starting to work his way to the back to go through in the second plate as Tom Perry leads him, but Mark Joe's holding that second plate. Mark for the second plate as Perry leads and from Giles in second Taylor is in third Ashcroft is in four up the back straight they go once again then Perry the leader then but Giles in second Taylor has got that third plate looks like Fen Smith in four Ashcroft is in five Broadhurst in six that's a top six coming off that top corner once again Perry still with a couple of bikes on Giles as they complete that match Perry leads Giles in second Taylor in third Fen Smith in four Ashcroft in five Broadhurst in six, the other Ashcroft is in picture number seven, Pierce is in eight, that's the eight then as they go up the back straight once again, still the gap the same between first and second, Giles closed the gap on the entry to that top corner, but Perry seems to have the speed on the straight then, as Perry still leads, looks across and Giles is almost alongside him now, second lap clean on to four, they go, just the five between first and second, Perry on the outside, Giles right in the inside line, can he close the gap on Perry, Perry again pulls away going up that back straight, and it's Perry who leads him. Giles in second, Taylor in third, Ben Smith is in four, Bro Ashcroft in five, that's still the top five, coming off that top corner, Giles one leg go, but Tom Perry wins the third leg of the 350s, Giles gets a second, Taylor in third, Ben Smith in four, Ashcroft in five, Broadhurst in six, Ashcroft in seven, Pierce in eighth place. P.S. of Leamington, Spa and Shipston on Stour are the sponsor of race number 22, third leg of the 350s, won by number 17, Tom Perry. Second number, 77, Mark Giles, and third, 170, Mark Taylor. 32, 45, 158, 83, and 180. For race 23, MJR improvements of each of the sponsors. Delete 118, put in number 73, James Hogg and Scott Goodwin. Carl Hockenek is Tony Dart's passenger, and Mark Hopkins a passenger for Dan Barry. side cars up for the tape so where they go again Sean Hughes hasn't made the start he's already starting to work his way through the pack and he's taking Dan Berwick with him it's Hughes who gets the corner first Berwick has moved through in the second plate looks like darting through with Benning in four that's the four as they come by us the first time and it's Hughes who leads and Finn um, Berwick holding second Jordan's the third and it is in fourth place the back straight they go once again Sean Hughes and Louis Bennett looking to make it 3-3 three to three in the heat of the 500 sidecars Dan Berrick's doing the chase in there in second place these two getting away from Tony Dart in third Barry Bennett had machine problems last time out he's back in fourth spot in the moment and can't improve on that fourth place they complete lap number two then Hughes the leader second Dart has got the third Bennett is in fourth place coming ladies up the back straight once again and Sean Hughes looks behind him he's pulling away from Dan Berrick in that Race for second, first and second equal disc between the four crews as Hughes roars into that top corner on lap number three. Last lap flag comes out then for Sean Hughes and Louis Bennett. Look behind them again. Dan Barrett still with the chase and there in second. Tony Dart has got the third. Barry is in fourth place. Up the back straight for the follow time. That's where Hughes gets a drive coming out of that pits corner. Storms away, increases lead all the time going in to that top corner on lap number four. So it's going to be three to three then. Coming up for Sean Hughes and Louis Bennett. They get the one in line. Barrett picks up the second place. It's going to be tight for third and fourth. Tony Dart gets a third. Barry Bennett in fourth place.
Race 23, MJR Improvements with the sponsors, won by number 77, Sean Hughes and Lewis Bennett. Second number 68, Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins. And third number 47, Tony Dart and Carl Hookenek. Fourth number 7. Race 24, Cheap Vehicles for Sale of Honeybourne are the sponsors. Delete number 82 and delete 79. Should be another cracking needed 250 hour. We got a false start. Tapes are broken. Red flag is up. Red flag is up. So back into line they come then for the third leg of the uh, 250s. Up for the tape, so he'll get away clean this time. Henry Atkins has made a good start. Where's David Knowles? He's not made the best of starts. Trying to work his way through the pack and he goes away through the pack and gets to the corner first. Atkins winds it on round the outside. David Knowles on the inside. Henry Atkins coming round the outside. Knowles rides mid track and Atkins has got the speed round the outside. Place at the top four again. Atkins sweeps back round the house. Sort of Knowles to lead going up that back straight once again. Then Atkins leads then for Knowles in second. Taylor is in third. Brooks is in fourth place. That's the top four. And equal distance between this top four as they move into that top corner once again. David Knowles again trapped on the inside line. Atkins has got the speed round the outside. Atkins So Collins in seven, Hawker in eight, Stamford in nine, that's the top nine as they go up the back straight once again and slowly but surely Henry Atkins is pulling away the front then for Knowles holding that second place, Brooks has gone round the edge of Taylor to move from the third, he's now challenging David Knowles for that second place as Henry Atkins leads him and David Knowles in second. Brooks has gone round the outside, Knowles to move for the second, Knowles again gets back to on the inside, Brooks again swings back round the outside, that's the best action we've seen from Charlie Brooks so far this afternoon, he's up into second place at the moment then, as Atkins leads into that top corner for the final time, Brooks has worked his way through into second, it's um, Knowles dropping back to third, Henry Atkins wins it, Charlie Brooks picks up the second, Knowles gets third, Taylor is in fourth. Greg is in sixth, Collins in seventh, Hawker in eighth place. Cheap vehicles for sale with the sponsor of race number 24, won by number 29, Henry Atkins. Second, number 16, Charlie Brooks. And third, number 64, David Knowles. 173, 91, 10, 305, and number 50. Right, race 25, Houghton Hams of Northampton, delete number 2, delete 44, and delete 11, and in 37, Chris Harris, and 126, Luke Harris. So Theo Piper on beating this time, could be interesting with James Shanes and Chris Harris in action. Harris beaten is a first row, one is next to Theo Piper is on beat at the moment. James Shane so didn't have the best of rides last time out. We'll be looking to return to form with a winning ride this time then in race number 25. Oh, somebody's front wheel right up in front of the face. They got the back straight for the first time. The reader's solid and It looks like Harris has gone through into second place. They wind it on going in that top corner for the first time. It's Harris trying to come right round the outside. Is that pipe? He's come round. Yes, he has. He's come round by Harris leads it for five in second. Shane's in third. That's a top three. Powell in fourth place. Super ride by Chris Harris. Really got the drive to get round the edge of Theo Piper on that top corner. And it's Harris who leads in from Piper in second. Shane's in, in, in third rather subdued, James Shane's back there in third place, Charlie Powell is in fourth they complete two then, Harris the leader the Piper in second Shane's has got the third, Powell is in fourth, Harris is in five Cox in six Butcher in seven, up to seven as Chris Harris is really storming away and Theo Piper can't get in a challenging blow at the moment as Harris again clear going into that top corner once again, last that flag comes out for Chris Harris looks like Theo Piper is going to be beaten for the first time this afternoon, Harris leads and Piper in second 
Hulls up to third, relegating Shane's to fourth. Cox is in five, that's a top five to make the way into that top corner for the final time. Impressive stuff from Chris Harris, clearly getting the better of Theo Piper in this race number uh, 25. Chris Harris gets the winning ride, Theo Piper gets the second. A wide riding, Powell gets the third, Shane's in fourth, Harris in five, Cox in six. Butcher's coming with a late run, Butcher gets six, Cox in seventh place. Race 25, Houghton Hams at the sponsors, win for number 37, Chris Harris. Second beaten for the first time this afternoon, 115, Theo Piper. And third, number 92, Charlie Powell. Fourth is 93, and he lost his footrest during the course of that race. It's up on the top corner. That may well be why he was back in fourth place there, Jim James Shanes. Then 1, 2, 6, 20, 6, 1, 1. Debbie Charlotte, Nick and Tom of Morton the Marsh are the sponsor of race 26. Delete 32, delete 271. Coming along in for race number 26, lead for 500 solos up for the tapes. And looks like Adam Ellis has made a quick start. He's going up the back straight. Tom Perry's got away. He's up in the third place to go in that top. It could be Martin Sturgeon has gone through into that second place. Vision again. I'm sure it's Martin Sturgeon in second. But he's in trouble on the outside line. It's Adam Ellis is the clear leader. And there goes Stephen Fox. In the second, Fendo has got the third. Sturgeon went wide. Dropped back to fourth place. They go up the back straight once again then. It's Adam Ellis. Well, clear the front then. From Finlow holding that second place. Vision Boxall has got the third. Tom Perry now goes back through into fourth place, a rather subdued Tom Perry in the seat of the 500 solos. And it's Ellis the clear leader then, the fellow holding second, Boxall has got the third, Perry is in four, Sturgeon is in five, that's a five in equal distance between these five as the leader Adam Ellis storming up that back straight. Once again, Finlow's consolidating that second place, Christian Boxall has got the third, Perry in four, Sturgeon five, on the last lap they go, Adam Ellis looking for yet another heat win in the heats of the 500. Fennel holding that second. Foxhall has got the third. Perry in four. Sturgeon in five. The leader halfway up that back straight for the final time. Impressive stuff this again from Adam Ellis. He's well clear going into that top corner on lap number four. Takes the checkered flag once again. Impressive stuff for Adam Ellis. Second place is Rob Finlow. Third is Stephen Boxhall. Tom Perry in four, Martin Sturgeon in fifth place. Race 26 result to win then for number 14, Adam Ellis. Second number six, Rob Finlow. And third number 71, Steve Boxall. 17 and 15. We move on then to race number 27 will bring us up to the official interval in today's meeting that's the concluding leg in the uh, heats of the uh, 500 solos delete 21 80 178 and 114 we don't know whether uh, mr last Pinars will be out of course following his last outing we're looking for four it may only be three runners for race number 27. Jerome Laspinaz has come out, so we've got the four runners then for this race, number 27. Up for the tape, so away they go, Andrew Appleton making a good start from the outside, leads going up the back straight for the first time, Dan Winton has gone through into third place, now looking to snatch that second place and make their way in the top corner for the first time then, it's a wide riding Appleton, who has the advantage of confidence the first time. 
Bradley Wilson the second down went through gets inside Wilson Dean and moved through into second play Wilson Dean again sweeps back round the outside to retake that second spot as Appleton leads them from Wilson Dean in second Winston is in third Las Pinares is in four they're pretty well spread out now in this race number 27 as Andrew Appleton on course to pick up his first race win of the afternoon it's clear then but Wilson Dean in second Winston is in third Las Pinares is in fourth obviously struggling after that fall he had early on as it happened, Andrew Appleton halfway up that back straight then on lap number three. Still Wilson Dean holding second, Winston in third, Las Pinares in fourth. The last lap flag comes out then for the European and Multi Masters champion. Appleton well clear then, but Wilson Dean holding second, Winston has got the third. Las Pinares is coasting back there in fourth place as Appleton winds it on halfway up that back straight on lap number four in race number 27. So Andrew Appleton picks up his first winning ride of the afternoon. Second place goes to uh, Bradley Wilson Dean. Third is Dan Winterton and uh, Jerome Las Pinares coasting up that back straight will pick up the fourth place position. Race 27 then sponsored by Dave Meadows Groundworks to win for number 22 Andrew Appleton. Second number one Bradley Wilson Dean and third number 12 Daniel Winterton fourth number 86 that is the main interval in today's meeting well it looks like we've got the riders coming out then for race number 28 race number 28 which is the b final for the 500 solos top three go through to the a final James Chains, Bradley Wilson Dean, Daniel Winterton, Charlie Powell, Tom Perry, Luke Harris, Jerome Laspinars, and Steve Vauxhall. They're chasing top three places to get into the big A final. This is race number 28, the B final for the 500 solos. Sponsored by the Madison family. Once again, we thank them very much for their generous sponsorship. Race number 28, 500 solos. Top three through to the A final, up for the tapes, away we go, and somebody's come up at the start there, look right, Tom Perry's in about fourth place, going up the back straight the first time, we have red flag out, red flag out, we have a red flag straight away for this B final. this afternoon having raced in that European at France last evening so he is on borrowed equipment here today but obviously different bike to what he usually rides and looped at the start there and he's gone down in quite a big way on the start line good to say that James Shanes is up on his feet is it okay but unfortunately will be excluded from the rerun as the primary cause of the stoppage so James Shanes will not go in race number 28 the B final for the 500 solos time of asking Coming to line then for this beat final away at the second time of asking the prize for the first sweep goes straight into the A final. Up on the tape to get a pretty equal start. 
as they go up the back straight then for the first time it looks like Steve Boxall working his way Charlie Powell got to the front Daniel wins and work getting his way through as well as they come out of that top corner for the first time then it's Bradley Wilson Dean that has the lead then from Charlie Powell in second Steve Boxall in third Dan Winton in fourth these four already getting away from the main of the back as they go up the back straight Wilson Dean they spotted bother down the exit of the corner very well to stay on there it's Powell who's gone through into second Winton has gone for third Stephen Boxall has gone for second and fourth and Luke Harris is chasing that top four down then as Wilson Dean is a race leader then with Powell holding second Winton has gone for third Boxall is fourth Luke Harris is in five that's the top five chasing three places for the A final Wilson Dean clear going up that back straight Tom Perry pulls on the middle of the track so he's not going to be in the big B A final this evening this afternoon then as it's still Wilson Dean well clear then coming up that top corner last lap flag comes out then for Wilson Dean from Charlie Powell holding second Winton has got the third Boxall is in four Harris is in five just the five runners going round then as Wilson Dean made a superstar he's made it came for the complete three and a half laps so far it's Powell who's got the second Winton has got the third these three will go into the big A final coming out of that final corner Bradley Wilson Dean wins the B final second is Charlie Powell third is Daniel Winston, four Steve Boxall, five oh, Luke Harris. A B final race 28 sponsored by the Madison family is a win for number one Bradley Wilson Dean second number 92 Charlie Powell and third number 12 Daniel Winterton 71 and 126 if you look at race 33 then you had in gate position number six number one Bradley Wilson Dean and then number seven in that list would be 92 Charlie Powell and then number eight will be number 12, Daniel Winterton. We move on then to the B final for the 1,000 sidecars. Top two only to go through to the big A final. This race again sponsored by the Madison family. Race number 29. So Fumarola, Cossa, Wilson, Hiscock, Heal and Hicks are the riders to come out then for this B final for the thousand sidecars Revving up then for this B final, the top two through to the A final, they all make a clean break, John Cox made a good start, but it looks like Tom Cox around the outside, Rob Wilson gets a corner first, Tom Cossa moves through in the second play, Wilson leads a big sword on that top corner, Tom Cossa trying to come right around the outside, Fumarola's gone through into third place, we've lost one of the crews up on that top corner, then as they go into the pits corner once again, Wilson leads him, and Tom Cossa in second, looks like Simon Hill just worked his way through into third place, it's his and Rob Wilson has gone through the third well again in Simon Hill the fourth super ride there by Matt Fumarola can he get in the top two Rob Wilson a bit slow on that top corner come Tom Costa gone through on the inside Costa leads him from Wilson holding second place Fumarola in third Simon Hill is in fourth place and Costa on the inside Wilson trying to come right round the outside of that top corner it's Costa who leads him from Wilson in second Side four crews chasing two places as Tom Cossa leads from Rob Wilson holding second place. Hill's got back through inside Fumarola. Fumarola again back round the outside to retake that third place and sets about chasing Rob Wilson. Cossa's clear the front. There's three crews chasing that second place to get into the big A final as Tom Cossa leads him on the last lap then. Fumarola using every inch of track in fourth place but can't get the drive to the heel or Wilson as they go to the back straight then for the final time Tom Cossa is well clear the front Rob Wilson holds that second place Simon Hill is in third Matt Fumarola is in fourth place coming out of that final corner and it is Tom Cossa that wins the B final Rob Wilson gets a Simon Hill in third Matt Fumarola in fourth Kieran Hicks in fifth place Race 
Race 29 result man is a win for number 29, Tom Cosser, Wayne Rickards. Second number 24, Rob Wilson, Terry Saunters. And third number 15, Matt Fumarola, Gareth Williams. 16 and 78. Right, we now run race 31, now race 31, which is the fourth leg of the 250 solos. Delete 111, 82, 42 and 79. It's all on race 31 because Henry Atkins has won two legs, David Knowles has run one leg, so this could be the deciding leg, this fourth leg of the 250 solos. So race 31 then, fourth and final leg of the, uh, sponsored by Suzuki GB, this fourth leg of the 250, race 31. Up for the tape, so away we go then, David Knowles making a good start from the outside, Neil Taylor's got away as well. And there goes Charlie Brooks in the third place. Where is Henry Atkins? I think Henry Atkins is in fourth place. He's going to wind it on round the outside of that top corner. Gets round two rollers. Does he get round David Knowles as well? What a brilliant first corner. In first place, but Knowles gets through on the inside. Atkins again sweeps back round the outside. They take other running once again. It's Atkins who leads in for Knowles in second. Taylor's got the third. Brooks is in four, and these four have got away. Superb first corner there by Henry Atkins. One in fourth, came out in first place. He's on that speedy outside line again at the moment. As David Knowles hanging on to second place. Brooks has got the third. And Charlie Brooks having another David Knowles. Again, Atkins speeds round the outside, and Brooks has gone round the outside of Knowles, and Brooks is chasing Atkins, going up the back straight once again then. Atkins leads from Brooks in second. There goes David Knowles trying to get back through the inside of Charlie Brooks, who winds it on, trying to come through on the inside of Henry Atkins. The two youngsters scrapping it out for first place. As Atkins leads him from Brooks in second, Knowles is in third, Taylor is in fourth. Back up the outside, Atkins comes back up the inside and gets back inside. Brooks, they're locked together going into that top corner for the full time. Atkins on the inside, Brooks coming right round the outside. A race for the line, they come out of that top corner, virtually locked together. A race for the line. It's Charlie Brooks who gets the winning ride. Henry Atkins gets second, David Knowles in third. Neil Taylor is in fourth. Little is in five. Greg is in sixth, Collins in seventh, Walker in eighth place. So Charlie Brooks saved the best till last there. Super winning ride in the last leg of the uh, 250 solo. So show your appreciation for the 250s all coming round on the lap of honour. Led round by uh, Charlie Brooks who just won that fourth and final leg. Show your appreciation then the riders on the left of honour. Charlie Brooks leads him round. Henry Atkins, I'm sure, will, will be the winner overall. Superb performance by Henry again, the reigning British champion. Neil Taylor, another good performance by the returning to the sport. Neil Taylor, what a great comeback he's had to the sport over the last few weeks. And David Knowles, been in the thick of the action all the afternoon. I'm sure David will be on the rostrum with his performance here this afternoon. Adam Orker, then Tim Gregg. Russell Little and Mr. Collins. The result in a race number 31, sponsored by Suzuki GB. A win for number 16, Charlie Brooks. A second number 29, Henry Atkins. And third number 64, David Knowles. 173, 91, 10, 305, and 15. Race th number 30. Fourth leg of the 350s, it's all on this leg as well. Delete 89 and 7. Mark Giles will be number 77. And in number 17, of course, Tom Perry. JM Financial Planning of Chipping Camden are the sponsor of race 30.
Charlie Brooks has lost his steel shell on the track. If Marshall you didn't keep your eye open, let's hope that's not a big problem there for Simon Hill, the machine being pushed back off the track. He's had so much bad luck with machinery, Simon. The fourth leg of the three fifth is up and running, and who's going to get away? Tom Perry has got away. Mark Charles has got away. Well, so has Mark Taylor. But Perry's going to get that corner first. Charles and that bottle of equipment. Can he make a move through on the inside, trolling and inside? Perry. Perry gets the speed around the outside. Charles again comes back up the inside, but it's Perry who leads every job. In four, in five, in six, as Tom Curry leads going up that back straight once again. Mark Charles has got that second place. Mark Taylor is in third. Ashcroft is in four. Ben Smith in five. Broadhurst in six. The other Ashcroft is in seven. As Tom Perry is storming away with his fourth leg of the three fifties of victory. Here we'll see Tom Perry take the three fifties this afternoon. He's cleared it. Ben Charles in second. Taylor in third. Ashcroft four. Ben Smith five. Broadhurst six. Ashcroft seven. Make the way up the back straight once again and slowly but surely Tom Perry is building himself a very big lead in this race. Number 31 is clear going into that top corner once again. Jones holds a second as the Taylor in third. Ashcroft gets a little bit closer in fourth. Perry takes a long look behind him, clearly over Jones. They Taylor in third, Ascroft in four, Penn Smith in five, Broadhurst in six, that's a top six, and as Tom Perry again looks behind him, knows exactly where Mark Jones is in that second place position, into the top corner they go for the final time, so it's going to be Tom Perry that wins the three fifties overall here at mid charge this afternoon, Tom Perry gets a winning ride, second is Mark Jones, third Mark Taylor, fourth at Ryan Ascroft, five Penn Smith, six Wayne Broadhurst, seven Liam Ascroft, Steve Pierce in eighth place. So show your appreciation. They come round the lap of honour. Then after the four leg of the uh, three fifties, it means that Tom Perry by three legs to one is the winner of the three fifties overall. Been joined there by Mark Teller. Some super three fifty action this afternoon. Good performance by Mark Giles on borrowed equipment to race to second place overall. So as they come round this far side, this near side of the track, show your appreciation for all the riders on their lap of honour. So Mark Taylor leads them round then. And then we've got uh, Tom Perry, reigning British 350 champion. He's won again this afternoon. Mark Taylor, Tom Perry. And then we've got uh, Mark Giles, good performance on a borrow bike. Jamie Fenn, Smith, Mr Ashcroft. Uh, Wayne Broadhurst, the former champion, and then we got Liam Ashcroft and Mr. Pierce all coming round on their lap of honour. Right, your result then of race number 13. A win for number 17, Tom Perry. Second number 77, Mark Giles, and third 170, Mark Taylor. 45, 32. 158 83 184 Race 32 then, the fourth leg of the 500 sidecars Tony Dart's passenger is Carl Hookenek Mark Hopkins on the back of Dan Berwick, delete 118 and in 93 James Hargan, Scott Goodwin Charlie Brooks, Steve Sue Akers has got your steel shoe in the pit box and they've got the strap for it up on the top corner. On the line then for the fourth and final lead of the 500 sidecars in memory of Ron and Vera Wall, this race, race number 32. And of course we move into our two big finals. Here we go 
Barrett then with the fourth and final leg and Sean Hughes has made a good start but Dan Berwick has got away with him Sean Hughes in second place as Berwick has a drop going in to that top corner for the first time Hughes in second Bennett is in third place and Hughes trying to come round the edge of Berwick Berwick's pushing him wide on the exit for the top corner pushing him out the loop stop there and it's very good in four, Hoggers in five, as they go up the back straight once again then, it's still Dan Berwick Lee, Sean Hughes again making his move round the outside, look at the speed of Sean Hughes going up that back straight, alongside Dan Berwick, he's gone round him, super ride there by Sean Hughes, Berwick again comes back up the inside to retake the lead, on the inside line, Hughes again back round the outside, as Hughes leads in from Berwick in second place, and it's got the third, Hoggers in five, that's the five as they make their way up the back straight once again. So Sean Hughes looks like winning all four heats then of this 500 sidecar support. He leads into that top corner once again. Berwick has got the second. Bennett in third. Dart in four. Hogs dropping back in fifth place. Coming on to start. The last lap this time. Sean Hughes and Louis Bennett. Well cleared then. But Dan Berwick Barry Van and I've been used in third. Tony Dark is in fourth place. Equal distance between these top four. The Hobbs are dropping right back in fifth place. As Sean Hughes and Louis Bennett Lee going into that top corner for the final time then. It's going to be four to four in the heats of the uh, 500 sidecar. Sean Hughes and Louis Bennett with leg number four. Dan Berwick gets the second place. Barry Bennett is in third. Tony Dart in fourth. James Hogg in fifth place. So show your appreciation on this side of the track as they come round on their lap of honour. So here they come then, past the PA box, Sean Hughes and Louis Bennett, winner overall, winning all four legs of the 500 side car support. Then we got Barry Bennett and Ivan Hughes come round on their lap of honour. Uh, followed by Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins. And then Tony Dart and Carl Huckenek. Dan Berwick, Mark Hopkins come round there this time. And Tony Dart and Carl Huckenek coming round as well. So a result win of race number 32 is a win for number 77, Sean Hughes and Lewis Bennett. Second number 68, Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins. And third number 7, Barry Bennett, Ivan Hughes. 47 and 73. Race number 33, the big A final for the 500 solos. Straight final. Point. Points will go with choice of gates, obviously. Chris Harris will have first pick. Looks like he's going towards the middle of the grid. Adam Ellis will have next pick. He's coming towards the inside. Then we've got Theo Piper. There's Theo going to go. He comes in on the inside there of Chris Harris. Then Andrew Appleton has the next pick. He's coming on the inside, Rob Finlow. Former British 350 champion, he's coming on the outside there of uh, Andrew Appleton. Bradley Wilson Dean going towards the outside. And then Dan Winterton has to have what's left. So uh, as they settle then for the big A final, quality lineup for this A final. Eight of the best in the sport lineup then for this Master of Midshire's 10th anniversary A solo final. Went into the ride. It looks like Danny Winton run on the outside to settle down then for this final. Everybody seems ready. Up for the tapes, away we go then. And it's a rider on the outside has made a cracking start. That's uh, Adam Ellis, I think, is going to go through on the inside. Adam Ellis goes through on the inside. Theo Piper's followed him through. Looks like Wilson Deep making a move around the outside. They're three of us coming off that top corner as Ellis leads in from Mike in five, they're moving the pits corner once again it's Ellis who leads and he needs Piper's move through into second place, Wilson Dean is in third, Appleton's in fourth and Appleton now moves through the third place and Wilson Dean has come to a stop while holding the third place, desperate bad luck there and Wilson Dean won in the B final he was in third place and he stopped in the A final it's Ellis leads and from five second, Appleton is in third Harris who went in top scorer, holding back in fourth place, Harris trying to get through on the inside Appleton, gets inside Appleton Appleton again, back round the 
the outside to retake the third place. As Ellis flees, but Piper's closed the gap. They're in second. Appleton has got the third. Harris is in four. Dan Winton is in five. Last lot flag coming out then for Adam Ellis. He's cleared then from Piper holding second. Appleton has got the third. Harris is struggling there in four. Winton in five. Finlow is in six. They got the back straight for the final time. Looks like Adam Ellis is going to win the tenth anniversary of the Master of Mid Charge. Piper's got the second. Appleton is in third. One last go for Theo Piper. But, but Ellis has got the speed round the outside. Adam Ellis wins it. Second is Theo Piper. Third place goes to Andrew Appleton. Dan Winterton is up to fourth. Chris Harris is in five. Finlow in six. Powell in seventh. Wilson Dean finally finishes in eighth place. So obviously a major problem there for Bradley Wilson Dean was in third place and looking to improve upon that when suddenly slowed upon the second lap. Whatever it was, he's got it sorted out and he's the last finisher across the line as Appleton, Piper and Ellis discuss things going up the back straight. So show your appreciation then for the... Uh, Winners of the A final, the Master of Mid Charles A final for 2018. Adam Ellis, who got better and better as the meeting progressed, and he's come good in the final, made a good start and made it count. Adam Ellis with a spectacular wheelie there as he comes through. And then we've got uh, Andrew Appleton, show your appreciation for Andrew P. Finishing there in uh, third place, Andrew Appleton. Then we've got uh, Theo Piper, Dan Winston, great performance again by Dan there. Then we've got Rob Finlow, then we've got uh, Chris Harris. So show your appreciation there to the finalists in the Solo A final. The result then of race number 33, a win for number 14, Adam Ellis. Second number 115, Theo Piper. And third number 22, Andrew Appleton. 12, 37, 6, 92, and number one, final race of the day then, the big chairs final. Number 37, Mark Costa and Carl Bly, unbeaten. Number 87, Rob Bradley, Darren Wills, unbeaten. Number 92, Paul Whitelam, Alan Elliott. Number eight, Gary Shearer, Billy Winterburn. 29, Tom Costa, Wayne Rickards. And number 24, Rob Wilson and Terry Saunders. Final race of the day, the 1,000cc sidecar final. Two unbeaten crews to meet in this final. Interesting, obviously Rob Bradley had second pick and he's right on the outside there. Coming for the outside is Rob Bradley. The interesting thing will be where does Mark Cossa go because he had first pick. He's going right on the inside. So he's on the inside then and Rob Bradley on the outside. So that's very interesting indeed because Mark had first pick. Rob had second pick. So Mark decides for the inside. Rob Bradley was gone for the outside. Looks like Tom Cossa next to Mark Cossa there. Then we've got Paul Whiteland as they settle then for the final race of the day. The big A final for the 1,000cc sidecars. Starling moves away up for the tapes. They've all got away to a pretty clean break. Who has made the start? Mark Cossa has made the start. Rob Bradley. Mark Hustle, he's going in that top ball, looks like Paul Whitelam gone through in second place, but Rob Bradley making the move around the outside to go through in the second place, as Costa leads him from Bradley in second, and Shearer has got inside Paul Whitelam to move through into third place, as Costa leads him from Bradley in second, Shearer in third, Whitelam is in fourth place, that's a top four, they come out of that pitch corner once again, Costa leading them from Bradley in second. Wilson now goes through in the fourth. Paul, Paul Whitelam's dropping back to the pack. He's gone right, actually right back to sixth place now. He was in second place at one time as Costa leads in. From Bradley holding second. Shearer's got the third. That's the top three. Looks like Wilson gone through in the fourth and Paul Whitelam struggling back in sixth place as Mark Costa leads him putting that one. From Bradley holding second. Shearer's in third. Tom Cosser is in five. Paul Whitelam back in six. And Tom Cosser in that fourth place. of Rob Wilson trying to find a way through on the inside. As Cosser leads into that pitch corner on lap number three. The last up flag comes out then for Mark Cosser. Will he be unbeaten on this master mid charge? He leads it then for Bradley holding second. Shearer's got the third. Wilson, Tom Cosser five. Whitelam in six. Mark Cosser and Carl Bly half. Well cleared back straight for the follow time superb on beam performance won their heats they're going to win the final as well coming out of that final corner Mark Cossa Carl Bly win the master mid charge 1000 cc sidecar tremendous performance by Rob Bradley to get second Gary Shearer 
Tom Cosser for Rob Wilson, five. Paul Whitelam in sixth place. What a brilliant final. The start was crucial. Interesting that Mark Cosser went to the inside. Rob Bradley for the outside. Mark just got the drop there. Rob Bradley not particularly quick away, but did a good job by getting through on the inside to move through into second place. So show your appreciation then for the 1,000cc sidecars. Brilliant final. Some cracking 1,000cc sidecar action this afternoon. I'm sure they'll come back over on this side of the track. So please show your appreciation for all six crews in that 1,000cc sidecar final. Don't know what happened there to Paul Whiteland. He was well away. He was battling away for second place at one time, but obviously had machine problems there during the course of that race. So show your appreciation as they come round on their lap of honour then. Final race of the day. So it's Tom Costa that leads them round. Wayne Rickards picked up a good fourth place there. Tom Costa and Wayne Rickards on their lap of honour. Then we've got Gary Shearer probably putting his best performance ever together today. That's the best he's ever done in a big sidecar meeting for Gary Shearer. Brilliant third place. Then we've got Mark Costa coming round on his lap of honour. Unbeaten all day. Class performance from Mark and Carl. They won their heats. They were emphatic in the final as well. So a top class performance there by Mark Costa and Carl Bly. Rob Wilson, Terry Saunders on their lap of honour and he must give this man a special cheer Rob Bradley and Darren Wills absolutely brilliant performance Paul White and Alan Elliott how does Rob Bradley do it he hasn't been on the bike for 12 months and he's turned in a display like that absolutely brilliant So race 34, the big sidecar final, a win for number 37, Mark Cossa, car blind. Second number 87, Rob Bradley and Darren Wills, and third number 8, Gary Shearer, Billy Winterburn. 29, 24 and 92. That concludes the action for today's meeting. So we're going to start off then with the 500 solos. And finishing in third place in the 500 solos, former European and Mountain Masters champion, Andrew Atherton. In second place, another former European champion. We thought he was going to be the man to catch this afternoon, but he was beaten in the final. Tremendous performance for great for him riding with us today. From Holland, Phil Piper. And the winner of the 500 solos, rather shaky opening ride, but after that nobody couldn't get anywhere near him. Superb performance, your winner of the Master of Midshire's 10th anniversary meeting, Alan Lewis. Well the has been presented by Jeff Madison on behalf of Peter, so we thank Madison's again for their tremendous support. We'll have a cop with the top three then, Andrew. Um, first time we've seen in this part of the country for a long time. You enjoyed it today? Yeah, I mean, it was very hard days uh, racing. Um, the club done amazing to keep the dust away. I thought we was coming here and it was going to be really dusty, but yeah, they've, they've done a great job with that and um, nice shaped circuit. I think with the water that's gone on, probably it's made it a little bit cut up and uh, a bit rough, but um, yeah, it's good days racing and. Uh, yeah, no, no accidents. And, and a good performance by your last week abroad. Yeah, as well chuffed with that. That was like, yeah, for a few years I've wanted that back and um, yeah, leg legitimately done it. And yeah, it was, a, it was a relief and it's good to know now I can start to plan everything going forward to it for next year, knowing that I'm in there. So Thank you very much, Andrew. Many congratulations on your third place. <laughs> Quick word with Theo. Theo, we thought you were going to be the man to win it the way it was going, but you got beaten that last seat and not quite quick enough in the final. 
No, I, I kind of missed the missed the start in the final, and um, you know, uh, yeah. What do you do if there's somebody in front of you? You know, you need to kind of chase chase them, and uh, it was quite hard to pass because uh, if, if if you get the roost and the and the stones and and all that, so um, you know, I'm I'm quite happy. I go in one piece home, and uh, we had a great day. And you've enjoyed yourself today. Absolutely, first time here, and felt nice. You know, uh, I hope I can come again. Many people, thank you very much. That's nice to hear you say it. Well done, Theo. Thank you. Adam, shaky opening there, young brilliant after that. Uh, that was the practice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. Um, track was was a bit rough, but uh, got it. Got my game gloves on, so made it easy, easier. Jumping gloves. <laughs> and obviously it is difficult to get a good track with these very severe weather conditions, isn't it? The track did, the club did remarkably well to do what they did. Yeah, to be fair, it's probably one of the best English grass tracks I've ridden, so um, no, it's been really good. The meeting ran really smooth, and um, yeah, it was. I think there was a really good lineup today. So hopefully there could be a few more meetings like this one in the UK, and yeah, get the big crowds back out. Thank you very much, Alan. Many congratulations on winning the five hundred solos. Thank you. Right, we're going to do the 350 solos now. So we go with the support, we haven't got the riders actually up. So in third place, magnificent performance in third place in the 350s, Mark Taylor. In the runner-up position, magnificent performance on board equipment, Mark Jones. <laughs> and the winner of the 350s had a very busy afternoon racing in the 500s and the 350s. The winner of the Master of Mid-Charge 350 Championship this afternoon, the new British 350 Champion, Tom Perry. Place. Yeah, really good. Um, really tough out there today. Obviously very hot. Track was a bit tricky, but tried to keep safe and you know, keep tidy. And the young, the young son's doing extremely well as well on the youth grass track in the moment, isn't he? Yeah, keeping me very busy and poor. <laughs> well done, Mark. Many congratulations. Mark, you must be delighted when you're opening it down to go on board equipment. You must be delighted with second place. Yes, I am, because uh, you know what uh, Tom's like. He's just a, a class rider. Then. Yeah, I kept with him right with the other heats, but I just, yeah, it's embarking him, but I just want to thank Barry Coates for letting me use his bike today. So I, if I hadn't done it, you know, if I, you want, I would have rode today, so I want to thank Barry for that. Yeah, and but to adapt to somebody else's bike in that top class company takes a lot of doing, Mark, doesn't it? Yeah, so uh, we had to change a few things, I like the handlebars like, and all the suspension like, and that, but yeah. It was it was better towards the end, but I just, I just couldn't, I said I just couldn't keep with Tom right in the end, so yeah. What a mark, many congratulations. Tom, brilliant performance to go to the 350 Championship. Yeah, really good to be uh, back on it on a, another meeting. So I'm enjoying riding the grass again. It's quite demanding in, in the heat in two classes. But uh, as you can see, I, after the B final, I was pretty tired. But I know I had to win that last one to win today. And obviously you said it takes some doing to do the two class on a day like today, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I'm only 25, but I, don't, I feel a bit older than that after today. But... Um, yeah, I used to do the, the two, uh, sorry, the three, 250, 300, when I was a bit younger and I was a bit fitter, but yeah, it was demanding today. Good performance, so too. Ross Trucks, British champion, one meeting, one of the master meet you, I know they can't be bad. Yeah, 
definitely I've, I'm really enjoying the grass. Um, I'm slowly, I'm not doing as much speed as I used to. I'm concentrating on my job and I'd like to do a bit more grass track. Um, like I've got the Masters coming up. Um, I spoke to Reg there about the poacher, so I'll get a couple more in this year, so just see what happens. Well then, Tom, many congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, we're going then to the 250 solos. And in third place, we're going to turn back to the sport for this young man. Just keeps getting better and better. Tremendous performance. Third place, Neil Taylor. In the 250s, another great performer in the 250 class, another former British champion, David Mills. <laughs> and the winner of the 250s, another British champion on show this afternoon, tremendous performance, four brilliant races. The winner of the 250 Master of Mid Charles for 2018, Henry Atkins. Day. I was struggling a bit on power and track was a bit rough, but um, same for everybody. It was a good day. And you must be delighted you made the decision. You were on and on and went the race, but the way things are going, you must be glad you made the decision to, to race again. Yeah, so I've, en I've enjoyed every meeting that I've done, and I'm enjoying it more and more. Um, I just want to get my own bike, really. Well, then, Neil, many congratulations. David, another quality performance, but he was just too quick for you again, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, unfortunately he rode, uh, he rode really well, but uh, we had a couple of good battles and uh, I'm really pleased, uh, you know, second for I think the fourth year in a row, but uh, still going away happy. And no, dis no disgrace to you, so you're quite a man like this? Uh, yeah, he's got a few years on me which I think helps, but uh, no, he's riding really well and uh, it's great to see. Well then David, thank you. Henry, tremendous performance, and as David said, the three great races with him. Yeah, definitely, he struggled being the first one. I think I just need to sort of calm down and just change gearing because I just had a bit too grippy. But after I changed it, I sort of just felt a bit more comfortable, and yeah, we had a good, good tussle. And three fabulous lines around the outside of that top corner. That's where all the victories came from. Yeah, it was a bit scary doing it, but yeah, it looked a bit scary. Yeah, it was. Just had to sort of do it just to get round and hopefully win the race, and it worked. Good month again, again British, British Crown a few weeks ago and won the Master of mid charge today, can't be bad can it? No, it's going well so far, just hopefully I can finish the season in one piece and carry the form on. How long before you see on the 500 again, you've got the clubmen's have got through, so are you tempted to ride 250 and 500 at the moment? Well, I was just trying to see what I want to do, I do want to do the 500 because they are so much easier to ride, but people want to see me on 250s, but I've just got to... <laughs> Do it both, but I think looking forward, I am going to go on to 500s. So. Well, Henry, ladies and gentlemen, your 250 winner, Henry Atkins, tremendous performance. Thank you, lads. <laughs> 500 sidecars are next, then. 500 sidecars, and in third place, and what a dramatic start he's made to his career, and the 500 sidecars, third place, Tony Dart and Carl Huckenick. In second place, Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins. <laughs> and 
And the winner of the 500 sidecars, tremendous performance, four unbeaten rides, Sean Hughes and Lee Bennett. Right, we've got all over the top three. Tony, Tony, you looked at one time if your last track career was over. You've come back on the 500 side car. You must be delighted the way things are going. Yeah, we've had a good start to the season. I mean, it's only our seventh meeting and we're making podiums. We've just got to keep up with these boys, really, and then we'll be all right. Carl, a good passenger today? Yeah, spot on. Carl's with me full time now, which is good. It's good to have a permanent passenger and we're gelling. So, watch this space. So because the start of the season you didn't exactly know who was going to be on the back, now you've got in permit, you said you can only gel together, can't you? Yeah, we've got, we, 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 we're working it out, it's alright, it's brain dead, so that helps. <laughs> Is that true, Carl? Are you brain dead? Who knows? <laughs> there you go, we've got to a one-up combination of Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins, Dan, a good day for you? Yeah, it was alright. First meeting back with Mark, it was good. We wrecked the bike today, so we've got a lot of work to do before we rode them. So, yeah. Got a fair bit of expense now, Mark, to get the bike sorted out again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, a few words. So, uh, were we all delighted with today? Yeah, it was, it was all right. I mean, we just couldn't catch them boys. Like, we, we changed the gearing before the last race to get it out of the gate, but we, we had nothing to them. So, we've got to go back to the drawing board on that. Well done, right. On to our winning crew. Sean and uh, Louie, it's getting better and better, isn't it? Yeah, but we wouldn't be anywhere without everyone's help and support, really. Uh, big thanks to our fathers, really, more than anything. We wouldn't be anywhere without them. Well done, well spoken, young man. Well done. Three uh, bad starts, you've done the hard way today. Well, yeah, but I'll let Louis explain that. <laughs> so, is it, all right, is it your fault then, Louis? Is it your fault with bad starts? Probably is, so, probably, yeah. So what were you doing wrong then? Oh, I don't know, we managed to find him enough drive, but he's got so Not much... Enough belly. <laughs> he's got so much battle coming into this bottom corner, is unreal, so... Just sit back and let him do it. It was quite scary the way you were up into there, was it scary for you right there? Yeah, I thought I was going to lose it at one point, we ran a bit too much in the deep, but Lewis kept that sidecar wheel light and I kept the pins, it seemed to have worked, so... What a new man, Mulder, and that's the top three then. Thank you very much indeed. If you like the stage, can I just say a massive thank you to those two men over there? And we'll be supporting them in the world and send me a word of next week. Hang on, hang on, hang on, please come back, please come back, please come back, stand up there, please. Thank you very much for the two crews. Right, we do have the Dave Harris Memorial Cup, which is awarded to the rider of the day. And I'd like to call Matt's mum forward to say a few words, please. Hello everybody, I would just like to say what a great brass track meeting it's been today and congratulations Midshires on your 10 years and also I'm here to present my dad's trophy which is 10 years since the day he died well 10 years since he died, not the day but he would have been absolutely great and so proud to watch these two guys go around the track because he absolutely loved and lived for grass track and you two guys are the guys thank you very much there you go, the Dave Harris trophy, it's a million dollars well up in for Sean Hughes and Louis Bennett. Now he's coming up as well. Well done, you get the Ride of the Day award.
Thank you very much indeed. Well done, lads. Well done. Thank you. Right, the final words are for a thousand CC sidecars. What fabulous racing we saw today. The top crews in the country were here today, and it really was, you could see that in every race. Finishing in third place, probably their best ever performance in a grass track so far, the young crew of Gary Shearer and Billy Winterburn. Second place, what can I say about this young man? First time he's been on the bike for about 12 months. Different passion, you've never raced with him before. Same machinery, it's getting older and older. By the years, he keeps telling me. Magnificent performance in second place. Rob Bradley and Darren Ross. The winner of the 1,000cc sidecars, an absolutely class performance against the top class field. I think virtually everybody's been here today. Fabulous performance, unbeaten heats, comprehensive winners of the final. Brilliant, unbeaten performance, Mark Cosser and Carboy. Thank you very much to Jeff Madison to present the trophies on behalf of the family of Madison who have been great supporters of mid charge over the last 10 years. <laughs> well then, that's right, we've got a little the top three. Gary, you must be delighted, you're probably the best performance of your career so far. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, we've had a lot of bike troubles for a few years, starting to get a bit fed up with it. Um, Pete Colvin does my engines, and um, yeah, we do much better now, get consistent for it. And a new passion you do well for today? Yeah, massive, he's mega, mega. So I think that's the way they robbed us so well, because he's got him on the back. Would you agree with that? Yeah, definitely. He's a lucky man. <laughs> You, again, you must be absolutely delighted because it was a top class field today, wasn't it? Yeah, I do agree with it. Yeah, it's a good, good place. Well done, Gary. Thank you very much indeed. Right, we'll have a word with this young man now. <laughs> well, what can we say? It's 12 months since you've been on the bike. It's the same old bike you keep telling me. You must be delighted with what you've done today. Uh, yeah, quite surprised, really. Um, as you say, it's the same bike. I checked everything. Uh, over and, uh, and obviously uh, Darren's been a bit of a revelation. It's just the bike handles fantastic when you've got uh, a good man on the side. And it performs as well as ever and we just, we've really enjoyed it. And has this whetted your appetite? I know when you came you didn't know we've been in the bit more of you again. Uh, well I did only plan on doing uh, this one, the Masters and the Porsche, but there does seem to be some more regs in the van. So we'll see what happens. Well done Rob. We'll have a quick look with Darren. Darren, the first competitive meeting with Rob. Brilliant performance. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'd like to say that it's nice to see Rob back on the bike because he's got a big following and, um, you know, we had a chat this morning and, you know, we didn't meet Mark for the day and I knew going into the final week it was going to be hard and uh, I knew these two were going to go for it and they did in fair play and I mean, they're just awesome, aren't they? So, but we're over the moon with second, absolutely brilliant, so. Thank you very much indeed. Mark, tremendous performance, quality lineup, unbeaten all day, you must be delighted. 
Yeah, it was a good day. It was um, all credit to the club. We had a run of meeting in this heat with that little dust. It was sort of, I don't know how often, but I've done a really good job. Speed you were getting was phenomenal. Yeah, well, that's just the way it goes. Just open her up and look where you're going. Just got the drop on well. Interesting choice again. She went right for the inside and Rob went right for the outside. Were you surprised when you were on the outside? No, I never do that. I just wanted to be able to be on the inside of them all week and sort of more of a chance of control in the race then. And a super start and race to wait for clearly in the final part. Yeah, again, he's real good in that one. Um, should have done that all day, but there you go. We did it in the counts. So, yeah, the way we went. And obviously it's a big confidence booster because it's a bit of top quality entry today and you were having shoulders above them so can only put you on to bigger and better things. Uh, I wouldn't say I had the shoulders but it was uh, well drawn so just, uh, just got the masters to do now so we'll see. Well, a change of sport have we got about for next Saturday? Can we have major problems with someone said if we able to get that sorted out? No, I've been too busy getting everything, everybody else is quite ready for this weekend. So, um, I'll have a look Monday if I can. We might get one put together. Well done, many congratulations, superb unbeaten performance. Thank you. <laughs> that concludes the presentation, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for being with us. It's been a long day, but a very successful day. So please have a safe journey home. Thank you very much. <laughs>